All right, this is just a, a quick video to test out the recording functions on this uh, Sony Alpha 600 camera, which is new to me, not really new to the market. Um, but I thought I would do uh, just a quick teardown of this cheap little SSD um, that I find particularly interesting. Um, so you can you can see this is a SK Hynix brand, 60 gig. Um, very, very simple, this kind of cheap, glossy, white plastic. Um, it's got some injected, uh, or injection molded metal threaded insert, so you're not threading into plastic, which is nice. Uh, and a very simple little aluminum plate on the bottom. Um, really kind of bare bones as far as SSDs are concerned. Uh, it is SATA 3 though, which is nice. Um, but this actually came in a, um, a mass market product. This was in a, uh, a Dell thin client um, as a, some, as a, a local storage option, right? So uh, this was the drive that it actually shipped with. So this was a mass market drive. It wasn't just a, a cheapy drive, uh, though it is quite. Um, so the first thing I noticed when I pulled this out of that machine to, uh, to replace it, I put a bigger drive in its place was that there don't seem to be any screws holding it together. And I had never seen an SSD before. Like for example, I've got another one right here. Another very old, old drive, uh, industrial SSD. Um, that, you know, it has screws. And this is also very, very heavy. Um, but this one by comparison, it's very lightweight. No screws. Uh, wouldn't really make sense for there to be any screws under this sticker. Um, you wouldn't really have any screws centrally located. It makes sense for them to be around the edges. Um, so it is held on just by snaps, and there are a few of them, so it takes a, a moment to get by hand. It's a little bit faster if you run a screwdriver around the edges, but... All right. There you go, and then it just comes right off. So you can see there's nothing to this little plastic cover. It is very, very, very basic. Um, but here we have the board in the metal enclosure. There's actually nothing holding this board in here. There are no clips, there are no screws. Um, what there is, however, is a pretty sizable thermal pad on the processor, and it's just tacky enough to hold this board in place. So with just a little bit of force, you can kind of peel it off. It just pops right off. Um, so see, uh, you've got some unpopulated spots for a, you know, a larger capacity version of this drive that's really not uncommon. You know, you'd have a lot of different, uh, um, a lot of different models of this drive use the same board. Um, something I do find a little bit interesting though, the way these pins are labeled, you've got this GPIO, OSC, TH mode, ground, DAS, PAC, and PF, INTR. I assume that's some sort of interrupt. Don't see that very often. Um, and this big, uh, what would be a ribbon cable uh, header, or for a connector anyway, that's interesting. Um, we've got a couple of test points here. Here, oops, upside down, we've got, it looks like a reset, reset in the ground. Another header there. It's not uncommon to have a couple debug headers, but um, having them be that clearly labeled is, is interesting that they bothered to silk screen that. Um, Got a little bit of uh, SK Hynix RAM here of one gigabit, so 128 megs. And that's really all there is on the back, aside from a couple passives. On the front, let me peel this big thermal pad off. You can see it's a very thick thermal pad. Let's move that over. Um, so we've got the, the main CPU, which is a Link Media. Um, not, not a manufacturer I'm familiar with, but I don't really know these that well. Um, another gigabit of uh, RAM up here, and then the uh, the storage, which again, of course, is SK Hynix. I think it's very interesting that these are like epoxied in place. Um, I've never I've seen that in a few flash drives. I've never seen that in an SSD before. Um, and then a couple other little odds and ends. Nothing really that interesting. Um, so yeah, there's not really much to this particular drive, or really to this video. I just wanted to test out the recording capabilities of uh, this particular camera. 
I don't have very good light placement, thus the, this glare, I've got kind of a spotlight. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really interesting how this drive is probably the cheapest manufactured SSD I've ever seen. And it was in uh, you know, whoop, a mass market product, you know, something that was shipped by Dell. It's just sort of surprising, a little bit interesting. So, yeah, it looks like maybe to enable this is uh, these guys to enable that. Maybe you'd need to put um, a couple diodes in place, or maybe those are activity LEDs. There's spots for other passives, but who knows? Uh, yeah, just interesting little drive.